Right, um, we just want to look at this concept map here. Uh, you see we have a solid, we have liquid, and we have a gas. Now we want to look at the processes here. Uh, the process of turning a solid into a liquid, we call that melting. And you should note that in this process we'll be adding heat to the solid. So when we add heat to the solid, the particles vibrate more and they will become liquid particles. And then when you keep on heating the liquid, it will evaporate or we say it will boil into a gas. So it will evaporate to form a gas. Maybe let's say it's water, it's going to form water vapor as the gas. And then uh, the gas. Now with the gas now, when you remove heat to the gas, when you remove heat to the gas, it condenses straight into a liquid. And as you keep on removing heat from the liquid, it, um, it freezes to become a solid. Now, if you heat a solid, but it doesn't pass through uh, the liquid phase, but it jumps straight to the gaseous phase, we say it has sublimed. We have a good example of a substance which sublimes. A good example of a substance which sublimes is iodine. That's I2. Iodine is a good example of a, of a substance that sublimes. And um, if you have, maybe let's say you have um, the gaseous uh, substance, uh, you remove heat, it may jump straight to become a solid. In this process, you say, is, is condensation. In some literature, you hear the word deposition as well. So take note of both those words. Now, these are some of the properties of a solid. A solid has a fixed shape. Uh, solids have fixed volume. Uh, solids have fixed shape. They have fixed volume. And you cannot compress a solid. And then, take note that the particles of solid, they vibrate about fixed positions. So they are not that much mobile. They just vibrate. There is some motion, but the motion is just restricted to tiny vibrations. And then we have gaseous particles here. The gaseous particles, they don't have any fixed volume. The volume of gaseous particles is not fixed. If you take a gas, uh, you put it in a container, which is uh, such, such uh, cubic centimeters in volume, it's going to take that volume, as, it's going to adopt that volume because it can occupy all the space uh, that is available uh, in that container. And then it doesn't have a fixed shape as well. It's going to take the shape of the container and it is easily compressed because the particles are far apart from each other. So it's easy for them to come back together uh, in, in, a, in a compressive way so they can be compressed uh, together. And then the particles are far apart from each other and they are always moving randomly and constantly. Right. And then the liquid, the liquid, it has a fixed volume. But when it comes to the shape, it only takes the shape of the container. If you pour a liquid inside a funny shaped container, it just takes that funny shape. And then it cannot be compressed and then the particles slide over each other. This is a special property of liquids that makes it flow because the particles can slide over each other. Now we have diffusion of particles, uh, which explains, it explains the spread of aromas the process of diffusion it explains the spreading of aromas you spray a perfume in that corner the aroma of that perfume is going to be uh, you you smell that that perfume at the other corner it's because the particles are moving and remember these are gaseous particles and they move randomly and constantly and the, they tend to move very fast and then it also explains the spread of color in a solution you put a drop of dye in a uh, colorless, uh, colorless uh, liquid, the dye will spread about the liquid. So that spreading uh, of the liquid shows us that uh, diffusion is actually taking place. Now the rate at which the diffusion is going to take place will depend on the molecular mass of the gas. If the gas has a lower molecular mass, it means it's going to diffuse faster. And then uh, if the, the, the conditions, um, 
uh, are surrounding the system um, involve higher temperatures then you're going to expect the particles moving very fast uh, temperature causes the particles to move very fast so it actually means that the particles are going to have a higher rate of diffusion so that's uh that's the explanation there so yeah i hope this was helpful and make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and see you next time bye bye